No one will guess that this delicious cookies and cream tunnel cake started off as a cake mix. Let's see what's cooking. It's time for yo yo mix 12. Hello, everyone. Starting off with a large bowl and one package of Devil's Food Chocolate Cake Mix. Now you're going to ignore the package directions and you're going to add the following things. One package of Jello Pudding Mix. And what we're doing is we're going to turn this regular chocolate cake into a very dense pound cake. After the pudding mix, add in one cup of milk, four eggs, and two thirds of a cup of sour cream. Blend this together on low speed until combined and then on medium for a couple of minutes until it's nice and smooth. Then fold in one cup of miniature chocolate chips. You could also use regular sized chocolate chips if you prefer. Now this cake is going to be cooked in a bunt pan. Make sure that it holds at least 12 cups. I have a silicone bunt pan and I always put it on a cookie sheet when I bake with it because it's just easier to get it in and out of the oven. And you're going to spoon in that batter and make sure that your bunt pan is well greased before you put in the batter. And as you can see, the batter is really thick compared to what a normal cake mix would look like. And then you're gonna bake this at 350 degrees for about an hour to an hour and 10 minutes until a toothpick inserted in the center of the cake comes out with just a few moist crumbs clinging to it. Allow it to cool in the pan for at least say 30 minutes or so and then pop it out of the pan and let it cool completely. Now we're going to fill it up. Now you need to get inside this cake to make a tunnel. So what I decided to do was cut off the top third of the cake and put that aside. And then I took a just a steak knife and I cut a line around the outside edge and you want to go down to about an inch to two inches, but you won't want to go all the way through the bottom of the cake. You want to stop before you get to the bottom of the cake and then make another circle just around that small inside circle and then scoop out the cake in between the lines. So what you're getting is a little tunnel and continue to scoop the cake out, putting it in another little bowl until you have a tunnel. Now for the filling, I'm making a stabilized whipped cream filling. That's four teaspoons of cold water, a teaspoon of gelatin. Set that aside and let it sit until it's uh, solid or all the water's absorbed. Put it that in the microwave for about 30 seconds until the gelatin is completely dissolved and then allow it to cool. In a larger bowl, place one cup of whipping cream and two tablespoons of powdered sugar. And you're going to whip this until it starts to thicken up and then you're going to gradually blend in the gelatin water mixture and then beat some more until you get it nice and thick. Then fold in two thirds of a cup of chopped up Oreo cookies. These are actually chopped up miniature Oreo cookies, about 20 of them. Fold the cookies in and then scoop the cream cheese filling into the tunnel and fill it all the way up pressing down lightly just to make sure you get right to the bottom of the tunnel. And you know what? This actually worked out pretty good. The cream filling that I had made actually filled that tunnel up almost perfectly and I had very little cream left over. So continue to fill. And once it's all filled up, you're going to add the top back on. Just make sure that the bunt edges are lined up if you have a fluted bun pan like I have. Now we're going to make the amazing glaze that goes on top of this cake. That's three ounces of unsweetened chocolate. To that add three tablespoons of butter and you can melt this over the stove or in the microwave like I'm doing for about two minutes in the microwave on high, stirring every 30 seconds or so until it's completely melted. To the melted chocolate add one and a half cups of icing sugar, also called powdered sugar or confectioner sugar, a quarter cup of hot water and also a teaspoon of vanilla extract, which I do add here, but didn't film for some reason. Stir it together until smooth and there is your glaze, it's done. And this glaze is absolutely amazing and I suggest that you don't leave it out, put it on that cake. Spread it all the way around, allow it to drip down the sides of the cake. And then you can decorate it the way you want or leave it the way it is. Uh, you could decorate with some crushed Oreo cookies sprinkled on top. I decided to use uh, full-size Oreos that were cut in half as well as some miniature ones. 
this cake serves about a dozen or so people depending on the piece size and you can kind of divide it up using the Oreos by serving so each serving has a large and a small Oreo but how you decorate this is completely up to you put this in the refrigerator to allow it to set completely about an hour or so and there is the completed cake I was really happy with the way this turned out it looks spectacular it slices beautifully and I tell you when I said no one will guess this was came from a cake mix I'm telling you no one will it's super dense and it's super fudgy and absolutely delicious and that cream center now the reason I added the uh, the gelatin to the cream was I wanted to stabilize it you don't have to add the gelatin if you don't want to but what the gelatin does is it holds that whipped cream together nicely because whipped cream has a tendency to get runny and flatten out after a couple of days and if you're planning on keeping this cake in the refrigerator until it's completely consumed I think the stabilizing the whipped cream was a good idea uh, the whipped cream center adds a really nice extra touch to this cake and this is something that I certainly will make again for a special occasion because it is just so delicious and it looks so fancy considering how easy it is to put together I hope you give it a try thanks for watching I love Oreo cookies and not surprisingly I have a playlist that's composed of recipes that use Oreo cookies as an ingredient. For example I have these cookies and cream pops and I have these Oreo cookie truffle cupcakes. These are in my recipes that use Oreo cookies playlist. Thanks for watching.